better than me. Speak to me. I told you I told you I draw people. I told you I draw people. <laughs>
since 1960. AT&T people have made the Oklahoma City works the promise of high technology, what it holds for the future. We know how deep the little switches and the computers we make here in Oklahoma City. The lead AT&T's charge, deeply important, the switching systems and the computers, AT&T bells here, also raise the Oklahoma City works a world showcase for what American people can accomplish using American technology. We're proud that delegations from all around the world come here to see the future in action. And we're even more proud that you're here today to share with us this very special anniversary celebration. to be in the home of your champions, the Oklahoma City 89ers, and I'm people by making our tax code more simple and fair.
all the people that spent all their weekend rigging this up for an outdoor affair and then spent all last night changing it around for inside but for all of you to be out here I just want you to know you've honored me greatly and I'm very thankful to all of you here. Oklahoma, okay. Thank you all. Thanks, sir. I think most of you know Congressman Mickey Edwards. One. I'm assuming, Mickey, by your presence that we also have uh, our special guest has, has arrived. I'm excited about that. <laughs> One thing I'll say about Mickey Edwards, you know, we talk about the House of Representatives. My mother once told me, don't say anything if you can't say something nice, so that's all I'm going to say about the House of Representatives. <laughs> I might take this moment, since we have it, to introduce my family because they are responsible for me being here. And, and I, if they would, <laughs> and the Morrisons. You know. Still looking through the curtain to see if the signs are coming. You know. Flying in with him on Air Force One, and also we're flying out with him on Air Force One. He spoke to the Oklahoma legislature, spent the night for. Uh, Bartersville, Oklahoma had experienced a tornado and did quite a lot of damage. And I said something to the president that, you know, they did a lot of damage. He's, he told the pilot, he said, well, let's go down and take a look at it. So we we're flying over Bartersville, Oklahoma at 4,000 feet in Air Force One surveying the tornado damage. The president of the United States. conviction, a person with leadership, leadership that this country desperately needs and deserves. He's the right leader at the right time, our president, Ronald Reagan. Thank you. Thank you. I have to be careful or I might get carried away and start singing Boomer Sooner. <laughs> or should I have said Ride em Cowboys? <laughs> but I always get a thrill out of babies grow up to be cowboys. The song forgot to say that cowboys can sometimes grow up and be president. <laughs> Believe me, America needs Don Nichols, too. He's carrying on in the fine tradition of Dewey Bartlett and Henry Bell. And I have to believe that your young senator in this state, still brand new with plenty of heart and plenty of hope, for a match made for each other. You elected Don Nichols as one of the members of that Republican Pahoma against the federal establishment in Washington, D.C. He's been a firm defender and a firm voice for the rights of the family. He has a keen understanding, brave and mortal threat to human liberty. And he understands that we can't preserve peace by... <laughs> and because he stood... We're not buying those $400 hands. We're the ones that are finding them and doing...